A freshly released video from the Army is causing quite the stir. It's titled Ghost in the Machine 2. It's the second such video to use haunting imagery and historical voices to captivate its audience and hopefully boost recruitment. Freedom is indivisible. And when one man is enslaved, all are not free. It's a strategic move by soldiers in the Army's Psychological Operations Warfare Program, particularly to draw interest in the Special Operations Command. The cryptic content personifies the work these soldiers do, from influencing public opinion to waging a war of words. PSYOPs units, like the 8th Psychological Operations Group, are tasked with various missions, ranging from simple leaflet drops to sophisticated propaganda campaigns aimed at shaping foreign opinion. The tactics go back as far as World War II. The so-called Ghost Army was honored for its work earlier this year using innovative tactics like inflatable tanks and radio trickery to outwit the Germans. The first Ghost in the Machine video, which was produced by the same soldier as the recent video, shows the tanks being lifted by soldiers. Today, psychological operations remains critical, albeit often classified. One recent example, countering Russian disinformation campaigns. Despite the crucial nature of the work, recruiting for PSYOP units is challenging. The Army overall struggled to meet enlistment goals recently, citing factors such as low unemployment, competition from the private sector, and pandemic-related restrictions. Recruiters hope these videos will spark interest among potential recruits. Initial feedback from soldiers suggest it's having a significant influence on their decision to pursue a career in psychological operations. As the Army continues its recruitment efforts, one thing is clear. The power of words and ideas remains a potent force in shaping the future of military operations. Ryan Robertson, Straight Arrow News.